let's take a tentative look at dimensions. Alright, we found us back in Intelligent once more, and in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom dimension over here. Basically, as previously said in the biomes tutorial, we're going to be taking a tentative look into dimensions and how to get to them. So for a teleporter, we're going to add a custom teleporter block that you can right click and then it teleports you to the other dimension. For the dimension itself, there's going to be a couple of copying over again. So as always, take a look in the description below in the GitHub repository to take a look at all of the code and let's get started. So for this in our world gen package, we're going to make two packages. The first one is the dimension package and the second one is going to be the portal package. In the portal package, we can make a mod teleporter class over here. There you go. And in the dimension package, we can make the mod dimensions class. Let's start with the mod dimensions. First of all, we're going to need three resource keys. I'm going to be copying those over. You can see we need one of a level stem. We need another one for a level and the last one for the dimension type over here. And you can see the level stem uses registries level stem. The level uses registries dimension. And the last one here for the type uses the dimension type over here. That's quite important. And then when it comes to the two methods, those are going to be two bootstrap methods again. Once again, just copying this over. Let's start with the type over here. So this is a bootstrap context for dimension type. And we're going to be creating a new dimension type over here. And you can see these are the different things that we're basically sort of asking what this dimension has, right? There's a height. There's a min. Why do beds work or do they not work? Is it natural? So on and so forth. And also things like infinite burn, are there overworld effects, ambient lights, and then also some monster settings over here? Does it have raids? Is it piglin safe? Things like that. And then for the stems, this would be the level stem. This is going to be the actual generation. You can see there's a couple of different things that you can do. You can do a noise-based trunk generator with a fixed biome source. And the fixed biome source is basically going to only have one biome in the entire dimension. Right. So if I were to use this one right here, so... Down here at the stem over here, when I create the new stem, if I were to pass in the wrapped chunk generator over here, then what would happen is that the entire custom dimension would only be our custom test biome. If I, however, do a multi-noise biome source with some different parameters over here, then first of all, it's going to look a lot more complicated, but it should also create multiple different biomes in your custom dimension. Now, if you're like, what the frick does this even mean? Well, first of all, Congratulations, you've just figured out <laughs> how insane biome and, and world generation is in the newer versions of Minecraft. But also, luckily, there is a great resource, and that is a misode GitHub IO over here for the dimension. You can change this to the multi-noise, and I basically already changed the numbers over here to be the exact numbers that we have right here, right? So those are exactly those numbers. And with that way, you can basically see that what is going to spawn in what chunk so you can see that most of it is going to be a test biome strewn in with a couple of dark forests here a couple of oceans and then from time to time a birch biome and if you were to change this right so let's say the uh, biome for dark forest i'm going to change this to 0.8 you can see this now changes where those would spawn so i can't recommend enough to take a look at this tool to basically see where those spawn you can basically take a look at all of those biomes you can even if i correctly Remember, you should be able to do a preset for the overworld over here. And you can see this is how the overworld would spawn. And if I were to add another biome over here into this, right? So this would be now my tutorial mod colon test underscore biome here in this case. And it's like a light pink over here. Uh, you can see that this is actually mushroom fields. And I would have to do a lot of different changes over here in terms of the numbers to actually get this to show up because it is very, very difficult to get your custom biome to show up over here. So do keep that in mind. But yeah, that is a great tool to use. And let's then proceed from there. With this done, we can actually add those to the data gen already mod world gen provider over here. So we're going to add the, this is going to be registries dot. This is the dimension type over here. And this is then going to be mod dimensions, colon, colon, bootstrap type. And what I actually want to do is I want to set this up at the very top over here. Otherwise, I have found this to throw an error. And then we want registries dot level stem. And this is going to be mod dimensions, colon, colon, bootstrap stem. There we go. And that should basically create the JSON files. And that is the entirety of the that done. And now we want to go into the custom portal. 
So for the portal, there's no custom portal that we can create because sadly there is an API that allows you to make a custom portal, but I have not gotten it to work. And I also have not basically rewritten it because I wasn't able to do it. So right now we're just going to get a right click for a custom portal. So in our custom block package, we're just going to make the mod portal block over here. And this will extend the block class over over this create constructor matching super the rest of this class i will just copy over as it should always be the same so you can see we're making a new mod teleporter over here we're going to fix the error in just a second let's also register the block because well we actually do need to register the block over here this is going to be our mod portal over here and we're going to call this the mod underscore portal as well and this is of course a mod portal block there you go which only needs this it's going to copy over stone and then very important we want no loot table no occlusion and I believe another thing, no collision. I guess we could add no collision, although it is not strictly necessary. That's going to be okay. As we're going down, we can then add the block state provider over here. It's just going to be block with item mod blocks dot mod portal over here. There you go. That's going to be fine. So we can close this and we can then go to the mod teleporter class to change this. Well, and when I say change this, what we want to implement is the I teleporter interface over here. And the rest here is just going to be copied over. So we're just going to copy over the contents of this. There you go, that's the mod portal block over here, and that is going to be the mod blocks mod portal. No errors should be present. If I go into the mod portal block now, no errors present. So there you go. And the idea is that I found this teleporter, I think this has been a, a while, like a bunch of while ago, like a very, very long time ago, when I first added the teleporter with right-clicking over here, and that basically just... Well, it gets you to the new dimension and places you down, and then hopefully also places another portal block down where you spawn... That's at least the idea of this. If you want anything more fancy, then you will need to research that in your own time. With that done, though, we have everything that we're going to need. So we can run the data over here, which is going to generate us the two JSON files that we're going to need. It's going to be the dimension type as well as the dimension JSON file. Of course, what folly of me, I have not added the texture. What a crime that is. So let's add the texture for the portal over here as well. And let's also add it to the creative mode tab because why not? There we go, and we can rerun the data over here, and then everything should work fine, and our JSON files should then properly generate. So let's take a look over here. There it is, dimension and the dimension type. So you can see this is the dimension itself, which has a multi-noise biome source of the different types of biomes with different types of parameters, and it was also amplified just because it looks a little bit cooler. And in the dimension type over here, you can see all of the things that are defined in the mod dimensions right here. Nothing too crazy, and that's basically all you need. And with that done, let's run the client and see if our custom dimension has been added. All right, friends, we're back in Minecraft and let's just take our portal block over here. Oh, I didn't actually change the name. That's going to be fine. And if we set it down and right click it, you can see we are now in a new dimension and we are actually inside of the ground a little bit. But there we go. So we are inside of where can we find it? Tutorial mod Calvin Dim. So we are in the custom dimension and let's actually take a look and just fly around a little bit. So you can see this is actually, interestingly enough, also the test biome. However, it does seem to, well, sort of generate as a ocean. I'm quite unsure how this works. Ah, there we go. Actually, here's the birch forest, which apparently also <laughs> generates as an ocean, which is, um, that is definitely not what I expected. So there you go, I guess. It might actually have to do with the amplification one. And also what you will find is that the ground over here is no longer raw sapphire the reason for this is because the surface rules only apply inside of the overworld and they do not apply inside of a custom dimension over here so that is a very very important thing to keep in mind and there you go it looks absolutely ridiculous and crazy but that is a custom dimension added to minecraft and i don't know what this video is going to be but we're sort of at the end of the series so thank you so much for watching hope you found this useful and you learned something new and i'll see you all next time so yeah